Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Um, I like to start off by thanking everyone for subscribing. All the new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Uh, let me think. Um, I also want to thank all the people that's been in the comment section, commenting, um, sharing their thoughts on some of the coins I've been reviewing. Thank you guys. Uh, so today's um first of all uh i want everybody to be safe where you are you know your family and loved ones because it's still kind of crazy so i don't know where you're watching this video from wherever you are i hope your family is safe and i hope you guys just stay safe in this crazy times um so let's start this video i wanted to first uh go over i'm on coin market cap and i wanted to go over just a quick review of all the coins right now the market cap is sitting at 261 um you guys know i i really don't care for the market at this time um i like to see it high i thought a couple of days ago we were going to you know, maybe into that little realm that I like, 285, but nope, it dropped. So, um, I don't know. It's been sitting around 9,000 9, Bitcoin has. Um, yeah, so let's get to our coins, the ones, the top five. So we got Tron. Tron right now is sitting at a penny. Uh, about a penny and a half. That's uh, about normal for Tron. I like to see it dip. If you know, I want to get get a bag or two. I want to see it dip first. Um, some people been talking about V Chain, but uh, I was looking at the chart. Let's just look at the chart on V Chain. Um, a lot of people like this this crypto. And I would like this crypto as well, but I have bags and other cryptos that, you know, they're just a little bit more appealing to me. But I always hear VeChain in a conversation and mm, based on their, their all-time highs, uh, I just, you know, I don't, I don't really see what everybody else sees in this coin now. I guess the sky's the limit, right? But when you say this coin is in the, you know, the top echelon of coins because of the technology that they got or whatever it is the project is doing, and everybody touts this coin, especially it's a lot of YouTubers. Um, I just see, I don't see where like where so what are they looking for are they looking for it to go to like a dollar or something like that because if this is any indication of um the potential then i mean that's still a game from where it's at right now but i mean i just i just don't see it i, I don't see it i don't see like because you got to put now look where it look where is that okay this is close to a penny and for you to turn a profit, you're going to have to put some money into this. So um, I'm not shitting on a coin. I, I, you know, I haven't really done my research on it. But if you ask me, I don't see what the big deal about VeChain is. XRP. Oh, my goodness. XRP is starting to slip in a zone where I would consider getting some of this, you know, because regardless to what anyone says about XRP and who's going to use it and this, that, and the third, it has religiously stayed in the top five cryptos. And we all know about this pump to uh, $3 back in the day. So, and that, that's when it was like sitting at 20 cents, 15, 20 cents. So it's in that zone, you know. But I don't see, I don't see like a consistent amount of 
growth over time. You know, it's just really been playing around here and then it's going to get a pop and what? Then come back. So I don't know about XRP, but at this price point, it is enticing. I'm not going to lie. So let me just get right to it. And then I want to talk to you guys about some things about the channel that's going to be coming up. Um, I know I haven't been on a video tip a lot. I don't use this as a way of, um, you know, trying to earn. You know, I do trade cryptos and I trade Forex. So that's specifically why I made the channel to help people to um, help people adopt into crypto and to also give people another option as far as investing, thinking about Forex. So, um, so we got Tron. We already talked about Tron. Let's try to find the other four. See if we all, yo, it'd be great if all five of them were in the, you know, the top hundred. But I believe, I believe a couple of them slipped out. It's okay. Okay. So we got Verge. Verge is looking real good for me right now. I like four million. Um, like a week ago, it was about 13, which is, well, it's just odd because, you know, for the longest, it's just been flirting around a million dollars. So to see this bump in volume and for it to sustain that bump, I'm kind of looking at this like I need to be grabbing more of this bag right here. So let's dig deep. We go um, and we look at the chart. So you see, you see it had a nice little bump. All the way up to seven, you know, 0 0.007, a nice little bump there. Um, if you guys got in at 0 0.003 and you experienced that little bump right there, you were you were happy, you know. You get you can you got to take the good and the bad. So whenever it is, you get some good um, gains. You you it makes you it makes you happy it makes you optimistic about crypto you start thinking about like man i can't wait till this joint go to like five or six cent <laughs> you know what i'm saying so you get happy um something i noticed about verge let's just take a look uh at their website real quick it seems as they did a, a small little um, image change, right? Because I remember coming to this website, you know, I can go as far as a couple of years ago, and some things had changed, you know, like, okay, take for instance, this wasn't here before. So they had, they got this going on, right? Little logo change. You know, a little variation on the logo, not 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 much, not much, right? And they simplified the website. You know, they had a bunch of stuff on here at one point, but they simplified it. It's a lot more detail specific, right? So, as far as the wallets, I actually flirted around with the mobile wallet. You know. And I wouldn't recommend any of these wallets until they can confirm, like somebody from the actual company, Verge, some representatives, uh, yeah, some representatives from the company confirms that these are our wallets and, you know, something like that, because you don't know who wallets you can be basically downloading a wallet of somebody else's and just putting your money in their wallet, you know, and you don't want that type of problem, man, because that's, that's just silly. If you're going to be a company, you should have control over who's in the ecosystem and what they're doing. So if somebody's just creating a wallet and slapping your logo on it, then saying, hey, you guys can use this wallet and everybody rushes to download the wallet and inject their funds into it. And then, you know, a day or two later, you, you don't have nothing. So that's disturbing to me. And I think 
that's a turnoff for investors as far as Verge. They don't have no clarity as to what's going on. You got GitHub, desktop, like what? It should be all Verge, Verge, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to see two different companies slap together with your company, and then we're going to pass this off as some type of custodial wallet. No, you're not going to do that. Get your Verge team to create a Verge wallet and then give assurances to the community that is safe. And this is how we get to mass adoption. You know, I don't understand these companies. They're making millions, but, you know, where's the money going? Um, yeah, so that's Verge. <clears throat> We're going to go back over to CoinMarketCap. Um, and another thing, guys, I hope, uh, I hope that in this video, it's none of that like scratchy, scribbly, scrabbly voice that uh, was happening. Um, I hope that it's a smooth video and we could get through it without none of that. Because when I was playing my video back, I'm like, oh my goodness, how can people even listen to this? I'm surprised I got views. Like, this is madness. So I hope I I'm, so I hope I'm able to clean that up for you, give you a better video, and start making more videos about all the content that I'm telling you I'm gonna make videos about. The only reason I didn't make any videos is because of that reason. You know they were coming out like scratchy and scribble scrabble, and I'm like, nah, I can't just be putting that out to the people like that. So I apologize for that, guys, and I'm trying to clean everything up, and get you some good videos, good content. Okay. BTT, I'm not. I'm gonna skip over this because I actually sold my bag of BTT. I'm not even messing with BTT at the moment. I'm gonna get back to them. But here's Electronium, and boy, do we got some stuff to talk about with Electronium. All right, because you guys know my thoughts on Electronium. Um, I like a team that I can see doing things that um you know as and i i have to disclose i do have some electronium they don't give me anything to talk about electronium or anything like that this is just me talking about my personal experiences and things that i'm doing so what does it for me with electronium is that here's one major thing their wallet is accessible and i never had a problem with holding my bag on their wallet but even holding my bag on their wallet is still unsafe okay the safest way and and this is the number one reason why i like electronium to hold your value your electronium is to put it in your paper wallet, all right? Your, your paper wallet is yours. You, you see what I'm saying? So that's like the wallet in your pocket. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's yours. You know what's in your wallet. You know what's going on. You know where it's at, and it's safe. So you're responsible for your own property. You know what I'm saying? And that's the most appealing thing about Electronium for me, because if I get involved with Electronium, I can control my value. Now, the thing is, you know, at what price point do you evaluate Electronium? You know what I'm saying? Like at what price point is good for you? You know, so like I told you guys in previous videos, like this price point is absolutely fantastic for me, even if it go maybe two more price points down from the five. So if it even gets to three or maybe even two, I love Electronium at these levels because for me, the company only has an upside. So if I was to get in at these levels, the upside of the value is just going to 
increase. So that's it for me with this. Um, it's a slew of things. Like I be seeing Richard L on on interviews, and for the most part, a lot of the stuff he talks about it answers a lot of questions, just general questions that people want to know. Like, which basically, if you don't know they're doing things by now, then I don't know what to tell you. But um, the only thing I would probably ask is why don't they continue the rewards program but incentivize the community? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can incentivize the community with the rewards not just go on uh any task because not everybody has something that they want to sell not everybody has a uh, capability to um make videos you know what i'm saying like so why would they be on any task to do what okay so but everybody has a phone which was the original concept but why not utilize these people to continue to spread the word of electronium so now you don't get nothing for telling somebody about electronium but i guess they don't care at this point i guess they're saying hey we're a big dull coin and you know we're not going to go we're not going to pay you to be a part of us we're going to show you why you should be a part of us and the only reason that uh, we took these rewards away is because we're going to show you that you're going to want to be a part of this. So until they prove that point, I don't see why they took that away. That was the staple of electronium. Like, you know, that was the staple of electronium. OK, so I don't know, but still a good coin. I still mess with them. Um, so what's the next one? So I think we did, we did what, three? Mm -mm, excuse me. We did three so far. Um, did Verve, did Electronium. IOST. Um, so here we go. I, I, like I said, an Electronium is starting to slip into the um, second page of Coin Market Cap. And you know it gets ugly from here. So, but... Uh, you know, they won't stay long. They'll be back in the top 100 if they slip over here. But we know who's we know who been here for quite some time. And we know that they're like uh, a diamond in the rough, you know. And the uh, crypto I'm talking about is Dent. <laughs> Dent. So, um, like I gave updates about Dent in uh, previous videos, uh, there is a Dent community. Dent is actually doing some different things that I wasn't aware of. But again, all of that goes for nothing. If the wallet that you guys got, you know, um, for one, it's restrictive because in the U.S. you don't have access to the dent marketplace. So that's a lot of uh, value that you're missing out on that you're leaving on the table. So I don't I don't understand that. Okay, but they do have a couple of YouTubers. I'm gonna leave those links in the description if you're interested in this coin and you want more specific information because I don't give specific information in my channels. I just more uh, just talk about the coin and what I think about it. So that's more opinion, you know, but these guys got more specific details and they know more about the technology. And I'll leave that link in the, the link in the description, but let's take a look at the website. Again. And I want to tell you why I just don't, like certain aspects of this uh, coin as far as what they're putting out there. Because when you put that you got a wallet, the first thing, your wallet has to be secured and your wallet has to be able to uh, withdraw and deposit instantly. Like it shouldn't be, oh, you got to hold it 
for a couple. Okay, if I'm holding it and you're giving me something, okay, but I still should be able to break that. Like, don't lock nothing up. Crypto need to get away from the lock in type of situation. Okay, it you should make the uh, the investor because they're gonna leave their value with you comfortable saying, hey, you know, if you if you put it here, not lock it here, but if you put it here, we'll give you a certain percentage over a certain amount of time. And then uh, if you leave it even more, you'll get even more, you know, but at any time you can take it and maybe there'll be some uh, penalties, you know, maybe there'll be some withdrawal early penalties, but not to, to, to encourage to stay, but not so much the lock for 90 days. So here it is. I'm going to put my value with your wallet for 90 days, and I don't even know. No. So that's my problem with that old, uh, let's see. After that. Yeah, so that's my problem with this program. It's my problem with this program. You know, in comparison to that dent mobile app, it's just, but let me also say this. Um, it seems that that's specifically catered to topping up or some in that variety. So maybe this is just not meant for me to uh, participate in because maybe people who actually use this to top up and get airtime minutes and things like that maybe this is exactly what they need so i don't know it's it's a it, it's really um if it works for you but as far as uh the bag goes <laughs> then definitely works for me because this is why i like this um even over uh that v chain because, right? Because if we go back to and um, you know, you know, in crypto they say, oh, this is called like shilling your coin and stuff like that. But to be honest with you, um. It's really, you can, in crypto, you can really put, you can get a bag of anything. And if Bitcoin goes up, I'm more than likely, the, it'll pull all the altcoins up because that trickle down uh, excessive uh, income into the market is, is going to go into the other coin. So, and it's just a preference of what that person or what that institution likes. As far as investing, but you can get it with anything, um, pretty much. So, uh, yeah, but like I was saying, um, let's just shoot over to Dent real quick. And then I'm going to wrap this video up and then uh, pretty much everything, because the market is not doing nothing, folks. Like, if this market is not at 285 for crypto, it is not doing anything. Bitcoin at 285, Bitcoin would be somewhere around 10,000, um, healthy 10,000. The other cryptos will be adding on percentages. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, but underneath that, you know, Bitcoin is at nine, eight, it's flirting around those levels. So if you doing any leverage, trade and then for you i mean you love these dips and uh rises but for the average person that just has a ton of a crypto somewhere on an exchange um they're just waiting and they're gonna be waiting probably so maybe next year because you know the market is no is no money coming in nobody's gonna be dumping money in crypto for any type of reason at this moment so you know 
it's unrealistic to think keep, keep hearing make excuse me to keep making videos day after day talking about coins that are not moving you know so that's why i don't do that but uh interesting enough you see this flat line that did has right here that's interesting compared to any of these charts look at them any of them right you see none of them at the moment right is doing this <laughs> a straight flat line so uh yeah but we like dent we like dent on this channel because you can get a ton of it and and you know you just you just hold on and I, and that's the name of the game you just hold on and if you're lucky right the value doesn't change for the for the worse and if you're very lucky it changes for the good and you get something like this a, a extreme blowout to the top 10 cent and you know the rest is history but uh i just wanted to make a quick video for you guys um to get back rolling i think i'm gonna roll another one out um maybe talk about some of the things you guys want to talk about but if i don't hear from the crypto community i'm going to be pushing forward for my forex uh people and we're going to start the hundred dollar to five thousand dollar challenge um that's going to take place this uh sunday that'll be the 28th we're going to kick off that so if that's something that interests you, um, just keep watching the channel, you know, share this with your friends, if you, you know, share it with everybody, hit that like button, subscribe, tell people to subscribe. We're going to start that $100 to $5,000 challenge. And we, we might even do a crypto challenge too. We'll pick a coin and just do a challenge on it. So let's do something like that. Let's, let's have some fun with it. If there's some things that you guys want to talk about, let's get into that. Other than that, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And you take it easy.